see if this fixes the problem. Fingers crossed. I think it did. It feels way yep, it feels way more smooth. Okay. So Alright. down this way, yeah, because this was close before. Killed so many fucking people. I'm just looking for any documents or batteries or. I wonder if Curse was in here because there's. drink cola, but I got wine. Jeez. This is gonna be fun run right? through. Oh, come on. Jeez. This are out everywhere. Well, there's one cling to the first to use. Oh, God. I'm just keeping everything open in case I need to. That way. Well, let's check out what's over here. I'm just trying to familiarize myself with. The bridge is open. Anything? God, that fucking gets me every goddamn time. Okay, well, let's go. Jesus Christ. Oh shit, I'm dying. I'm dying. Note to self, he's like right there. Okay, well we know it's also some bullshit, so um This will be our hiding spot. So we know he comes at us right away. Oh! Oh shit! Found me! Uh. So 
you can't hide from him. That's good to know. Okay. So, I guess we just run. I don't know where we can go. Because that's locked. And yeah, that's locked. Yup! Hey, Billy! And that's close now. Shit! Fucking hell. One miles. Got the spro. Woo! Just keep moving. Come on, come on, come on. Up the stairs, up the stairs. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, don't jump. Uh -huh. Personnel from consultant MM008 Rudolph Wernicke, DBNR. Do not worship the swarm, nor allow the delusions of the patients to influence your beliefs. Any sentient being based on this technology will be so far superior to us that illusions of godliness will be reasonable. We have always looked into chaos and called it God. We now are blessed with sufficient power that such belief could destroy us. Do not be tempted. Remember that you are scientists. I'm just okay. So like, besides killing people, like ripping them into shreds, like what else? What else can the wall rider do? I don't understand. Like, whoa. Dude, look at that thing! That's fucking crazy! Oh no! The assembler, the bee chambers, the precursor molecules, vague memories of nanotechnology articles I've read online, probably drunk, probably distracted, not nearly enough to know how to destroy it. But Billy is the center of it. Find him. Kill him. End this. Did you show him that fucking weird ass video? God, poor Billy. I just want to help him, man. Like, wasn't his mom worried about him? Like, I recall... Something about, like, his mom asking about him. And they, like, were gonna murder her. Turn off the valve for the life support fluid condenser. Hi, Billy. I am... When Billy's patient reports, he ought to be 23 years old. He looks like at least 50 years of rough road, pain scratched deep into what I can see. Killing you would be an act of kindness. Does he? God, I can, can we just, like, get him out of there? I just want to help him. Like, this is fucked. Alright, what is this? Uh... Sublight generator. Well, uh, life support fluid reservoir. Yeah, this. I know you can see what I'm doing, bro. Whoa! This is Billy Hope's lungs, his liver, his life support. A machine the size of a football stadium to keep one lunatic alive. Fuck it all. Break it all. He has to die. But how do we know it's keeping him alive? Like, I don't imagine after everything they've done to him, there's not much of Billy actually left. Yeah, probably not. I just, uh, 
the empathy in me is just like, I want to save him, like, but I guess this could, you could say this is one way of doing that, so, that's what we're going to do. Okay, I need to, like, I'm very comfortable right now. Okay. There we go. Okay, that does. Um, there's a fucking door. How do we get in there? Oh, we can't get in there. Do not turn the valve. Well, I'm sorry. I know that probably did not feel good. I'll read a journal really quick. <laughs> For the personal records of Dr. Burdicke, Frankenstein, or the modern Prometheus by Mary Shelley, published anonymously in 1818. Chapter 4, excerpt. Learn from me, if not by my precepts, at least by my example, how dangerous is the acquirement of knowledge, and how much happier that modest man than he who aspires to become greater than his nature allows. So, uh, ba, 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 ba. Run. Woo! I know, bro. I know it hurts. I'm sorry. Oh, he's fucking. That guy's fucking dead. A uh, patient is watching. I guess up here? Uh, uh, come on. Come on. I have to say, kudos to the composer of this soundtrack, because right now, the tension is so real because of it, like, ah! The staircase goes on forever! Why? Jesus! Oh my god, go, 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 go. Oh, good lord, really? <laughs> that should have surprised no one with how much trouble I've been having with the jumps. See how many times I can die. Alright. Miles. You're killing me. Come on, man. Again! Welcome back. Don't worry, you've just watched, like, missed me dying like a million times. <sighs> I don't understand why I can't make these fucking jumps. Like, I... I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. He just... doesn't... I'm so pissed if I can't beat this game just because of one fucking jump. Get me getting pissed off. Like the Yeah.
Maybe I should go back down the stairs. I get almost made a, per a per perpetual jumps. Basically, for me, anyways. Okay, I'm gonna have to get some of this momentum going again. Thank you. I can't fucking see a goddamn thing. Okay. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Did you fucking... Hell. I want to make an amendment to this statement. Hell is made up, up of Outlast platforming. Oh, what, you assholes. And now we're back to this shit. so mad right now, you have no idea. Oh my god. All because the fucking night vision wouldn't fucking work. Come on, bro. You need fucking... That was... Okay, that was totally my fault. That one there. I'm so pissed off. I'm so angry right now. Thank you! Yes, this time I can actually see! That's where I got stuck! For whatever reason, he can't go through those. Please find attached the permission to proceed form for patient William Hope of the Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Program at Mount Massive Hospital in Colorado, USA. They're so charitable, guys. The form is standard and all relevant lines have been signed. It appears Billy is unaware of his mother's recent guided cardiac arrest. Guided? So they murdered her. They murdered his mom. He has submitted to the experiment with the understanding, unfounded, of financial remuneration to his mother and a charitable contribution to her church. Fernicky, having read the boy's dream reports, believes he has enormous therapeutic potential. What the fuck? Dude, fuck all of you guys. Oh my god. That's such a terrible thing to do. Like... Alright. Uh, I know it hurts, buddy. I know. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, why? Why? Why am I stuck? Fucking hell. That was the life support. Oh. Shit. Fucking hell. I'm supposed to do. I don't know where. Okay. Okay, where's the fail safe? Is it on his like pod thing? Uh
Hold on, before we... <laughs> Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Morphogenic Engine Chamber Maintenance Schedule To avoid patient injury, the Morphogenic Engine Life Pod requires a daily inspection of all vital systems. Vital System 1. The enriched oxygenated perfluorocarbon from the life support fluid reservoir must be continually flushed and replaced through the course of the patient's treatment. Note that OP also supplies anesthetics. Any interruption in supply will cause sufficient pain to the patient to potentially disrupt the experiment. Oh, so we hurt him bad. Vital System 2. Hold that death. Let me just read this paper. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Vital <But> System... <laughs> Metal System 2, electric supply is supplemented and ensured by the sublab generator. Proper fueling and maintenance of the sublab generator should be confirmed hourly. And Vital System 3, in the case of catastrophic loss of Vital Systems 1 and 2, the life pod, life pod failsafe will engage maintaining localized minimum life support functions until technicians can arrive. Disabling failure failsafe will result in immediate patient termination. You mean death? Like... Oh, shit. Bro, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Get up. Miles. Ow, shit. No. Ow. Get out! I thought that was the objective! Billy is dead. The wall rider, the swarm, whatever it is, I'm made with him. Will I escape or die here? I am free. Um. Come on! Dude, you've been through so much. It's just a short walk. Our cop just ruined everyone's lives, huh? Yeah. Come on, it's just a short walk, Miles. You can do it. He's gone, th he's been through so much. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Get up. Come on, bro. Get in there for me, man. Let's get out. Come on. I gotta film all this shit, man. Oh, come on. What's with that weird noise? Like. Oh, shit. What? No! Oh! For absolutely nothing? Basically? God damn it, we kinda saved him. Ah, <sighs> uh, well. That was good. That was a good game. I mean, the platforming gave me some trouble. Um, I don't know if it's just because I suck, apparently. I don't think I suck. Um, but, yeah, the, yeah, the platforming gave me a hard time, um, 
It might just be just because it's first person. Wait until after credits. Okay. Um. But yeah, I mean, other besides the platforming, I liked the rest of it I, a lot. Like, I liked that it wasn't, um... I don't know. I think I might have enjoyed this a bit more than, uh, Amnesia. See, like, if Billy loved him like a father or whatever, he'd have kept that dick alive. But at this point, all Miles is is a ball of spite. Yeah. Oh, oh, hell no, dude, Miles is gonna be like... That's... that's bad, because he just went through so much shit, like... But no, I liked how it was... Um... I liked the night vision, like the camera thing, that was pretty cool. And it was, it was scary. Which is what you want with the scary game. I, I liked it. The plot was kind of... Eh. But um, I do know that... They got like comics and stuff, I guess? Like, so there's a whole lore thing. That it's what they're fucking soldiers with their motherfucking guns and I'm a hacking scientist. <laughs> you mean the Nazi? Let's call him what he actually is. Like, come on now. I mean, I, I honestly don't know what, um, like, what the DLC or the sequel could really bring to this, um, I don't know, maybe someone else comes into contact with the Wall Rider, or we get to play as the Wall Rider. That'd be kind of cool. Just fucking swooping on people and just. But that might be a bit too much like, um, prototype. Because that was basically what that was. Alright, well, that was Outlast. Um. So. Oh, there's chapters. Okay. Um. Definitely liked one better than two. Two was a letdown. Huh. Well, we'll see. I, um, I actually have it. Two feels like a fever dream. Oh. I might like that then. Um, because I actually have two on the PS4. A bad one. <laughs> okay, so, um, I'm gonna go and get another drink. Brain, but that's a general feel. Um, I want to get. Hold on, let me. Uh oh. Computer just freeze? I hope not. Dude, this laptop's like brand new. Well, like brand new. I've had it for a couple months, but still. I can't remember it well, so I don't remember if I liked it or not. I do remember I went, what the fuck, a lot? That's my kind of game. I really don't know what's going on with this. This needs to... Come on. Shit. 
shit. Come on, open it up. Shit. Yeah, my laptop's crapped out. Alright, um... Let me restart, hopefully it's... After midnight computer shenanigans. Basically... Basically, I don't know what its deal is. I mean, it's been... Running fine. Alright, I'm gonna restart again. Um... See if I can get Whistleblower... To pop up. So I uninstalled it to make room, and a bunch of other stuff to make room for ARC, which I kind of got over pretty quickly because I kept dying and it wasn't very fun. So, alright, I'll be right back.